Alright guys, I just wanted to give you guys a uh, video of these guys while they are all awake. All the frogs are awake right now. Come here guys. You're a fat little guy, huh? Okay, go up there in the bush. You too, come on. Oh, well, you guys are little jumpies. Huh, there you go. So all these guys are awake right now. These are red-eyed tree frogs. It's a green tree frog, another green tree frog here. It's the coolest thing watching them jump. Come on, jump. Another gray tree frog up here. Let's see if we can get the colors on him. It's hard to get the colors on these guys because of, well, their coloration. The light kind of bounces off of them. One of the big females down there. Another one of the females right there. And those two over there are the males. Not a little gray down there. Well, that one you got you got a pretty good um, view of the coloration. That guy's gorgeous. That girl. They're absolutely amazing creatures. They really are. And I cannot wait for them to start breeding. Sometimes some of them hide inside here. So sometimes some of them are a little hard to see. I'm not sure what she's doing. But I know that recently the males have been jumping on her a lot. I am hoping that very soon she is going to produce eggs. They lay on average about 40 eggs at a time, the red eyes. The green tree frogs are a little bit more than that, and the gray tree frogs are a little bit more than that. But, they're the ones that I am the most interested in breeding right now. They're very hard to find, very hard to come by. So it's just a pleasure to be able to work with these animals. Well, let's get a... See if I can get a decent view of the enclosure. There we go. Pretty decent sized enclosure. I have the the mister up there. Right now I have it aimed in this direction. Tomorrow I'll aim it in this direction. Oh, sorry, a hiccup there. Tomorrow I'll, I, I will aim it in this direction over here. Same thing goes with the mister up here in the toe cake echoes cage. Um, I have it set up right now aimed toward this side of the cage and tomorrow will be aimed at this side of the cage let's get a good view of these guys here now these were all wild caught so they are not friendly at all I love the noises they make ooh he almost got me there ooh. I love those little noises that they make. And these guys do have quite a bite. Oh, look at him. Oh, look at him. These guys do have quite a bite. They've got a nice set of teeth inside that mouth. And they're like pit bulls. When they latch on, 
they don't let go. When I when I got them in the mail, when I had them shipped in, I got tagged. I actually got tagged by this one here, and uh, you definitely drew some blood. And they did not want to let go for the life of them. So I just wanted to do it because these guys are all nocturnal. So they really only come out at night or wake up at night. So I wanted to get you guys a, um, you know, a nice video of these guys while they were awake. Take a look at the uh, temperature and humidity there. And this is pretty much consistent for every cage in here. Um, none of these heat lamps are on right now. During the day, the light goes on. It's just a small 5.0 UVB for them. That goes on at 7.30 in the morning. But there's no heat. You know, no heat bulbs on here. There's no heat bulbs on in here. None of these guys have heat bulbs on them. None of the scorpions or the spiders have heat bulbs on them. Um, the boas have heat on them. The, not, the uh, monitors here have heat on them. Because uh, I, the, I want the temperature up here to be close to 102 degrees. And in here it's around 92 degrees on this side and about 89 degrees on this side oh you want to get mad are you mad right now i can't tell you're not hissing at me so that's a good thing say hi if any of you guys saw the video i posted just a few hours ago um she ate for the first time since she's been with me and that was, I've had her for about two and a half months now. Um, this guy here, he eats all the time. He's already going into his third shed while he's been with me. And I've had him for about three months, four months. So he's averaging about a shed a month. Uh, he never, never denies a meal. He'll pack down two rats a week. Um, this girl here, though, she did not. Up oh, there we go with the hissing. Look at that mouthful of teeth. You can see the teeth are kind of shielded by those gums right now. But when she shows those teeth, it's definitely something to behold. Absolutely beautiful snake. She hisses a lot like this at night, but if I open the cage and go to pick her up, she doesn't really try biting. And the few times that she has struck, she doesn't strike to actually bite. She opens her mouth and uses it like a boxing glove to kind of push you away, just, to, just as a, uh, you know, just leave me alone type thing. So she hasn't actually tried to actually physically bite yet, but, um, oh, hey little guy, gonna exercise a little bit? All night he's on this thing. I'd say this is one of the most exotic animals we have in this place right now. Everyone that comes over, the first thing they say is, Oh my gosh, you got a hedgehog. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a nice little nighttime view of the nocturnal animals. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed.